Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a couple weeks since my last video, but today we're back at it and we are painting the Ograd Myrmidon from Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So let's go ahead and dive into how I've painted this model. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Rust-Oleum's Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer. The first thing we're going to do with this model is we're going to take Rhinox Hide and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the parts of the skin that we want to be this brown, darker color. We're not going to paint this on the head, chest, or belly of the model. Now for the base color on the head, belly, and chest, we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to paint this all over. And when we get to the boundary right between the tan and the brown, we're going to do a somewhat uneven line so that the transition is a little more natural looking. Next we're going to take Abaddon Black and we're going to paint this on the hands and feet of the model as well as extending slightly down from the hairline on the model's back. Now we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to wash this over all of the skin. This is going to serve to darken down the chest and belly a little bit and then give us a guide so we know where the recesses are on the darker parts of the flesh. Once we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take a mixture of one part Rhinox Hide and one part Mornfang Brown. We're going to use this as a glaze and layer this over all of the raised surfaces of the muscle. Once we've finished with that, we're going to take Mornfang Brown by itself and we're going to do the same thing, but this time building up the color to this lighter brown. Moving on to the lighter skin, we're going to start with Karak Stone and we're going to glaze this over all of the raised surfaces of the muscle on the belly, chest, and head. It's important to make sure you take your time when you're working around the facial expressions. Now we're going to take Rakarth Flesh and we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're only focusing on layering this on the most raised surfaces where the light would catch on the chest, belly, and head of the model. For all the areas that we put black flesh, we're going to take Dark Reaper and we're going to use this to highlight all of those areas. We're also going to use this to edge highlight all of the hair on the back of the model as well as the face and any other spots where he's got hair on him. For any spots where he has scars on his skin, we're going to take Carberg Crimson we're going to very carefully just dab a little bit of this over those scars. We're also going to put this around the eyes of the model to make it look like there is blood flowing to that part of his face. Now this model has some runes that have been carved into his flesh. We're going to take Flayed One Flesh and we're going to edge highlight around the border of all of these scars. Now we're going to take Contrast Talazar Blue and we're going to put this inside each of those runes. And then we're going to use a bit of water and just kind of spread it out evenly onto the skin so it gives the runes the appearance of having a little bit of magic glowing off of them. Now that that's all done, we're going to paint the horns and hooves of the model using Skaven Blight Dinge as the base color. Once that base color is in place, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to wash all of the recesses on the horns and the hooves of the model. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Storm Vermin Fur. We're going to use this to highlight all of the rings and ridges that are on the horns. We're also going to draw vertical lines starting from the base of each of the hooves moving upward. Now to try and make the horns look a little bit more organic, we're going to take Karak Stone. We're going to paint this on the most raised ridges of the horns. We're also going to do a few additional lines on the feet, just like we did with the previous color. Now that we're done with all the skin and stuff, we're going to start working on all the metal parts. We're going to start with Lead Belcher as the base color for the shield, the spear, and any of the buckles that are on the straps on the model. Once that's in place, we're going to pull out Agrax Earthshade again, and we're going to wash this over all of the metal parts on the model. And you can go as heavy as you'd like with this wash, doesn't make too much of a difference in this case. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to layer this over all of the parts of the metal that we plan to have showing at the end of this project. And this is just to brighten that metal back up. This is slightly brighter than the lead belcher we started with. 
Now it's time to paint the heraldry of the model, and we're going to paint this on the tabard and shield. And we're going to start with Elysian green. We're going to paint half of the tabard and two opposite quarters of the shield using this color. For the other half of the heraldry colors, we're going to use Thunderhawk Blue. Now when you paint this color, especially on the shield, remember to let the silver show through in any spots where there are dents or scratches on the shield. Now to help weather the heraldry just a little bit, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to water this down in a one-to-one -one mixture and then just lightly shade this over all of the heraldry colors. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Ogryn Camo and we're going to do a very fine edge highlight on the raised ridges of the tabard as well as the edges of the tabard. We're also going to add a few little scratches by just drawing little thin lines with this color on the shield. Then we're going to take Fenrisian Grey and we're going to do the same thing but on the blue panels on the shield and on the blue half of the tabard. With that all done, we're going to take Abaddon Black and we're going to use this to base coat all of the leather straps and any leather that's on the model. Once that's done, we're going to take Death Guard Green and we're going to use this to edge highlight and to texture all of the leather straps. Now this is going to give the black leather a somewhat green tone. Our next step is going to be to take Dryad Bark and we're going to paint the wooden portion of the haft of the spear. And just be careful not to get this on the metal at the end of the spear or on the handle wrap. To add a little bit of contrast to our spear, we're going to take Balthazar Gold and we're going to paint all of the ornamental parts using this color. While we're thinking about small details, we're going to go ahead and take Wazdaka Red and we're going to paint the eyes and the tongue inside the mouth using this color. Now just be careful when you do the eyes not to get this on all of the area around the eyes. To help add a little bit of definition around the eyes, we're going to take Karaburg Crimson and we're going to very carefully use this to pin shade around the eyes. We're also going to use this to shade the tongue. Next, we're going to take Morgast Bone and we're going to use this to paint the skulls on the shield as well as the handle wrap on the spear and any other spots where there are bone or teeth or any sort of details like that on the model. Once that's done, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to shade the haft of the spear as well as any spots where we painted the Morgast Bone or the Balthazar Gold. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Wraith Bone and we're going to use this to edge highlight the handle wrap on the spear as well as all of the raised ridges on the skulls and teeth that are on the model. Finally, we're going to take Baneblade Brown and we're going to draw some curvy lines following the way that we think the wood grain should go on the haft of the spear. And just take your time with this and make sure you do nice thin lines. And with that, we finished painting the Ogroid Myrmidon. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and like it and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. As always, have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next one.